For those of you guys that have been here for a while, you guys know how I feel about investing and I think anyone should be doing it. Guys, investing to me has a much deeper meaning than just investing in the stock market or investing in index funds. To me, investing goes to the extent of investing in your health, investing in your knowledge, investing in anything in life that would help you be a better person and help you improve. So if you think about investing that way, investing financially is just one of those things added to that collection. What is going on guys? My name is Robert. Welcome to my channel. I'm here to tell you guys today that you should be investing regardless of where you're at in life. I've said it before, it does not matter if you're making minimum wage or if you're making 10 grand a month, you should be investing and putting some of that money aside. I actually have an interesting story. So the guy that owns the property that I used to run my Airbnb business out of, I was just having a conversation with him the other day and he is 69 years old. He's an older gentleman. And I was talking to him just about, you know, his younger days and how he sort of got to where he's at right now. And then I asked him if he's ever invested in the stock market and he said he never has. And that really shocked me because I don't know how many other people are like him out there. 69, looking back in history, had he been investing since his early 20s, he would be a multimillionaire right now without a doubt. And I asked him the number one reason that he wasn't investing in the stock market. And he said, because of pure ignorance. And I, you know, it kind of kind of hurt me hearing that because he looks back and he regrets not starting. So I'm here telling you guys this, guys, it's very important. Just start. It doesn't matter on what level you're on. There's so many different online brokers out there that you guys can start with. Take that advice from me, guys, and start doing it. You'll see a massive change in the way that your life is headed. So for all my viewers out there that are investing and you guys have E-Trade accounts, you guys have TD Ameritrade accounts, and you have whatever sum of money, I'm sure you guys have noticed it take a massive dive in the past week or so. And that's because we entered the bear market territory with the S&P 500 and the Dow Jones Industrial. And all that means is that the S&P 500 went down 20% or more from a previous high. And that's just an indicator of a reversal in the stock market trend. And so for those of you guys that have been investing regularly and you've seen your portfolio take a dive, the point of this video today, the main point I wanna stress here is don't panic sell. And I have very solid evidence as to why you should not panic sell. And I think it's hard watching your position and your portfolio decline but if you're a long-term investor investing in safe index funds and ETFs with slow return rates, you should be looking at the long-term. I'm talking 10 to 20 years from now. Therefore, we'll listen to what I have to say in this video and I think it'll make a lot of sense once I'm done showing you what I have to show you. So it doesn't matter who you are and where you're at on Wall Street or you know wherever you're at in finance, nobody knows where the stock price is going to go. And that's just, that's the absolute truth. So what we can gather is historical data. That's the information that we're using to base our investments off of. As you guys can tell, since back in the day, the overall performance is showing massive growth. And what I'm showing you guys here in particular is the recession of 2008. Now, I was too young back then to understand what was going on. So I don't consider me like being a part of that financially. This, if we are heading into a recession this year or in the next year, which people are saying that's what we're facing since we entered a bear market and the Fed is messing with like interest rates, stuff like that. There's certain things to look at, but people are saying we're going to be entering a recession and it's going to be the worst recession of in the history of the United States, blah, blah, blah. We'll just have to see and find out what is actually going to happen with this. But what I'm going to show you guys here is we've been on the longest uptrend and this is the longest bull run in history, which I've mentioned this in other videos in the past. If you guys can go back and find me talking about it. Anyone can just look at this chart and say that the overall performance has seen massive growth in the past. And like I said before, what I really want to focus on today's video is not panic selling. And the reason being, and this is very interesting to me, I just, I had notifications around for CNBC and they published this article on Christmas Eve, the day before Christmas. And it's titled, Dow drops 653 points in the worst Christmas Eve trading day ever. Now, seeing that, you know, it's like, oh crap like what's going on i don't really want to go into too many details about the article but i just want to show you guys that this headline right here right down drops 653 points in the worst day ever in the stock market that's something that a lot of people might see and they might be like whoa what am i doing i have money invested i should take it out you know i don't want this thing to go lower because in all honesty nobody knows where the bottom's at and so the whole point here guys is don't panic sell because the very next day we have this article and it is titled Dow rallies 1,000 points, logging its biggest single day point gain ever. So 
if you were one of the people that sold at the bottom here for some reason you panic sold and you know you don't have any insight on where the price is going to go the next day and then you see this article i'm sure you're not in a very happy place right now the entire message here guys is just if you are young and you have money coming in and you have income and you're investing don't panic sell just keep adding to your portfolio as the price moves up and down overall had you been doing that you know for the past 10 years you would be in a very very great place financially i hope this is helpful for you guys and i hope you guys really understand the message i don't want to be confusing it too much i think it's pretty straightforward so this message is for any of you guys that are investing but maybe you don't have all the knowledge and don't have much experience in the stock market just trust the process of buying and continuing to buy throughout volatility if you are investing for the long term now there's two different sides of investing there's the long-term aspect and there's the short day trading aspect of investing and i don't want to get into many details about both of those but just know that they're very different and for the long-term aspect of investing you need to have a long-term vision like a 10 to 20 year goal as far as how long you're going to keep your money tied up and what you want to get out of it so just to make this clear once again i'm only 21 years old this will be the first market crash and the first recession they say that we're going to be expecting like this is going to be the first one that i'm experiencing while my money is in the markets while i'm invested financially in different areas and while i have an operating business so i'm excited to see how this affects me financially and what challenges it provides and i really want to ensure that i can overcome it and i can just withstand anything that comes my way and it'll make me a better human. And that's how I'm looking at this overall. I'm not sitting here like terrified of what if the market crashes because that is the wrong mindset, that is the wrong attitude to have. And I really hope this resonates with some of you guys and you can understand it the same way that I do. All right guys, for everyone that stuck around and watched the whole thing, thank you so much. And I encourage you to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, hit the notification bell to know when I upload my videos. You guys have heard it a million times, but Frankly, I just have to say it. Maybe you guys forgot while watching my video, so I'm just here to remind you very kindly. Thank you once again. I will see you all in the next one.